Alright guys, here we are back at it again with another Hillbilly production. As you can see, it's snowing in Tennessee again. Got a little short little video I wanted to shoot. Some goodies I've got going on. Thought y'all might find this interesting. When you get this on video, we have the Red's Clutch. Finally ready to rock and roll. And some little screws. Every time I order some parts, I order some screws. You can never have too many screws. But anyways, here we are. Got the Reds 32 millimeter Quattro clutch. This is the new one that has the uh, three adjustments on it. Here's our part number here. and clutch bell this is a 14 tooth and I'm going to talk more about that here in just a minute anyways let's open this up I've already had it open but I guess we might consider this an unboxing here unpackaging everything you get that comes with it Got our collet, and I mark this the RC because looks the same as the other ones, but could be different. They say to use this one, so we're gonna be using this one when we put it on. That's another video to come. And they gave us another, gave us a nut. Don't know if there's any difference, but we'll check that out when that time comes. But here's our clutch. It's a four shoe. We have two aluminum and then two carbon. You can change those out however you want, depending on what you're wanting the clutch to do. You can put three carbon, one aluminum. You can run all aluminum. The more aluminum you have, the more grab it's going to have. Here's the back. Let me get my pointer here. Trusty Glock tool. See here on the on the front here, you see we have our three holes here, and then this medium this in the in the middle is medium. And this goes for loose grip, medium grip, high grip. Now this is the this is the V2 version. Now they have it they had a V1. You only had two adjustments here. You had, you had low grip, high grip. But this is the version two, so you have three. And I'm probably going to put it on the car. I'm just going to keep it in the middle when I put it on. It's a, it's seems like quality. I haven't seen anything bad about these. I haven't read anything bad about them on the forums or anything. Seem to be pretty good clutch, so we are going to try it out. And let's get to the, the clutch bell. See, this is a little something I didn't know when I was ordering this. I ordered the, the clutch and didn't order the bell, so I've been waiting on the bell to get here, and that got here today. A regular clutch bell. Which is this one. This is the kit. It comes with the kit. And I have a Protec. This is a 13 tooth. But I have a 14 tooth. It's a Protec that I just put on. You've seen that other video. Clutch bell. Regular clutch bells do not fit this clutch. You can see this plate on the front of it here. And that comes out. There's not enough room for that. that plate on this on the regular clutch bells as you can see it won't cover the shoes you still have shoes sticking out right there right there that's all the way in right there and it's hitting the plate right here on the inside so the reds clutch bell here now this is a 14 
I plan on ordering a couple more and a 13 and I may try a 15 out just to see what it does but I don't think I'll need a 15. Goes all the way in, covers our clutch shoes. And this little bit right here makes up for that plate, the vents on here. And if you don't know, this is this is considered a vented clutch bell. So you got your vents in here. This is non-vented, vented. And I kind of prefer the vented, you know, it lets all the aluminum get out of it and you don't seem to have much problem with this with the aluminum bit, uh, building up in there so and it lets heat out and whatnot so I prefer a vented it's not a must but it helps and also you know it can let dirt in too so there's kind of a catch-22 but I think the benefit outright outweighs the the bad so we will be giving this a try seems like a good quality bell feels it feels quality and the bearings the bearings do fit takes the regular bearings I've, I've done swapped them out in here it has a uh, has clips in here and uh, let's get this to focus in see them right there but there's two clips they're like C clips they're not C clips but they're kind of like them there's a notch in there and there's a clip on this side and there's a clip on this side that stops the bearings from going in and they fit flush in there so that's what we got going on what we're, I'm going to be doing some videos on taking the other clutch off and then installing the, the okay we're back at it I had a friend stop by and chit chat with me anyways I forgot where I was at but just wanted to shoot this video and do a little unpackaging here show you guys what's up and uh, look forward to the videos. I'm gonna do, like I said, I was gonna do a video on uh, taking the the regular kit clutch out just for documentation on how to put that clutch in and out and how to maintenance it. And then I'm gonna do a video on the install on this. I may split them, I may do them together, I may split them in two. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on how they turn out. There's our clutch. Well, guys, it is uh, coming down snow, and uh, I'm gonna get back in the house. It's cold out here, so hope everyone's doing good, enjoying the new year, and uh, got some more videos coming up. Hillbilly is over and out.